Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've come into Glasgow and I've stopped off at Ross Hall Park which is in the south side of Glasgow it's right next to Ross Hall Hospital and it's one of those wee parks in Glasgow that unless you knew it was here you probably wouldn't even think of coming here to visit because when people think of Glot parks in Glasgow they think of the big ones they think of Pot Park uh, they think of Glasgow Green, Kelvin Grove uh, Bell Houston, all, all the big parks that probably get a hell of a lot more attention. But unless you actually knew, like they say, the south side of Glasgow or knew Crookston or Cardonald, you probably wouldn't even think about coming to Ross Hall Park. And after that, even though I have driven through the area so many times, going to different places in the south side of Glasgow, I myself hadn't even thought about coming and visiting this wee park. So I'm rectifying that today. I'm going to go for a wee adventure, we explore and try and see how much of it I can actually wander around because uh, the weather for today it was saying that this afternoon was supposed to be nice and dry but it was actually a bit of okay, torrential rain about 10 minutes ago so hopefully the rain will actually be off now and I'll actually be able to head on out and go for a wee wander. Before I do that though, a wee bit of housekeeping first. If you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comments section. So with that out the road, I'm gonna grab my bag and head on out. So this used to all belong to Ross Hall House. That's that building there. So that's now part of Ross Hall Hospital. Give you an idea of the lay of the park. It's probably one of Glasgow's smaller parks. So it's a uh, great idea of what you may be able to find within the park itself. So that's uh, Ross Hall there, that's the mansion house, or as we say in Scotland, the big house, which has been the centre of the state here. And that is now part of Ross Hall Hospital. Yeah, even though it was like tipping it down about 20 minutes ago, it's actually cleared up quite nicely now. <coughs> and do excuse the throat. Uh, it's just a wee bit croaky. Don't know why. Just, yeah, probably been talking too much. But even though you're not actually that far from the main roads here, you can barely hear the traffic. So... It's just one of those gaby places that it's probably not that well known in Glasgow, but it's still a great wee place to come and visit. It's, it definitely has that uh, feel of being an old estate. I think that's one thing that a lot of people don't know about with Glasgow, is that there actually are quite 
a few old estates in the area and quite a few of them are now public parks. A bit like Pollock Park. And there's the pond down there. I thought I could smell well garlic. So, this plant here is well garlic. You can usually always smell it from a mile off. You've got the wee flower heads here, the leaves. And these are edible. And again, if you're out foraging and you're learning about all that stuff, please go with somebody who knows what knows what they're looking for. Don't wanna get don't want anybody getting any poison poisoning. And if you want to, you can walk from here to Crookston Castle. That's about a mile or so away. So about that's about what, one point one kilometres. So it's not really that far. Might not stay up too much longer because I think there's the rain coming back on. So the riverside walk down this way. So this takes you along uh, the White Cat River, which the river goes through Paisley. Also goes through this part of Glasgow as well. Yeah, found the river. It's like some sort of a fairy tale. Yeah, I've just followed a wee path from that wee bit. I came across it like some sort of a fairy tale. And it's just taking me out here at the pond, which I, I spotted when I was first going round. There's a couple of moor hens over there. So it probably gives you a better idea of the house as well. So that's the old mansion house. I do love the colours that you get in some of the rhododendrons. Well, as we're back at the car from after a little wander around Osshall Park, and even though it is not one of Glasgow's bigger parks, you probably could spend a good wee while just wandering around and exploring the park itself. And it's one of those good places that I would definitely say as a wee hidden gem in Glasgow. Because as I was saying at the start of the video, I've driven by this park so many times. I'd never thought of actually stopping and visiting, but I'm glad I did stop and visit today, even though it does look like it's going to start pouring again any minute. I think I did come at the right time. I think I managed to time it I just right in between two, two uh, spots of rain, so I'm glad I stopped and I'm glad I came for a little visit. Hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will all be intrigued by Russell Park and if you are, if you're in Glasgow or the Glasgow area, you'll come and, come and have a little visit and have a, a wee explore of the park itself. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.